When I first became CEO of Autodesk, I actually had this funny thing, which was I thought that the most important thing a CEO or anyone who runs their own business does is make really important decisions. And that things like the people and the culture were kind of byproducts. 15 years later, I left 180 degrees opposite. That's it. Yeah. The number of decisions you really make that matter is very, very small, like tiny. But mm -hmm. way more important is the people you choose to work with, um, the culture you put in place, um, you know, and that includes everything, how you reward people. And that's by far the most important. If you do that right, then the, then the right decisions get made. The, the, awesome. other, the, the other one's not really that sustainable. Yeah. You know, that, Carl, that, that leads me right into a question. Daniel asks, um, can you please ask Carl, what key traits do you look for when hiring key team members? Okay. The, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great question. So, and I used to get asked this at work all the time because people who work in a big organization want to know what's valued. And yep. I would literally say, as a matter of fact, I, I, having said it so many times, one of the people went over to the little laser cutter and made me a sign. Oh, and it's big. It. And, 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 and to me, you know, being able to get stuff done is the thing that's really important. Uh, particularly, you know, because there are people who can talk about stuff, but when you're running a business, the number one thing has to be, I can get it done. Yeah. Um, you know, there are other things I think that are prerequisites. You know, nobody wants to work with people who are jerks. You know, you, you don't want to hire people who don't have integrity and you can't trust. But I think, you know, so foremost is someone who can get stuff done. And when they can get it done and bring the team along, it's real bonus points. And so I, I'm, I'm always looking for people who, at the end of the day, whatever the obstacles are that are in front of them, sometimes they're technical obstacles. Sometimes it's working within an organization and making sure you can move the organization along. Um, you know, it's that kind of, um, you know, that uh, intangible skill that some people have. You know, some people can be very good technically, but if they can't communicate it, if they can't get other people excited about it, if they can't lead, it's a little less valuable. Absolutely. I'd say the same. I, I completely agree with you. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, as you said, a lot of people can talk, but the importance of when you, you want to actually build something, you have to put action behind those words and you got to actually go out there and do something. I, I tell my guys, like, especially my top guys, I tell them, um, I love to be surprised, Yes, you know, like, you know, come up with ideas that are going to like blow my mind. And if you if you have confidence in it, then start moving forward yes. and, and, and then, you know, bring it to my attention and stuff. And they do that. So sometimes they come up with such incredible ideas. And I'm just like, that is absolutely fabulous. I mean, and that is probably one of the biggest joys um, in leading a company for me is, that, is seeing that. You know, seeing seeing my team come up with amazing things where I can I literally don't have much. I can just be like, boom, let's move, make it happen. You know what I mean? And oh yeah, that I mean that's fantastic, re fantastically rewarding when something comes up and the t the team jumps up and has answers and is motivated. Um, I mean, because in essence, it means you know you've you've built the right culture. You've built one where people are willing to speak up, willing to take risks, you know, willing to move things along. And, uh, and I think that's really what the job of running an organization is, less so than, you know, just being able to do the work yourself.